What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the indie game, we're going to be checking out, man, look at the dunk on this man. This dude over here has been doing his gluteus exercise. I can't even do the intro to my episode, that ass is so fat. Anyways... <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome on back to the Nerd Castle. It's good to see you. We're going to check out Founders Fortune today. Uh, the game has had its professions expanded and kind of changed the way that they worked, in addition to having, like, extra skill trees added to the whole thing. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's dive on in. We're going to start a new colony. I'm going to try to get this thing rolling really, really quickly. Uh, fair warning. This is the second time I've recorded this because last time Windows Update decided to just wipe out the whole... You know, Windows Update is the worst thing ever invented. Can we just all sit down and agree together that Windows Update is the worst program to ever be written? The worst software ever created by man. We should give out a medal to whoever was in charge of making it for being the worst software ever. Windows Update wiped out like my last hour of footage for this game, so that was pretty cool. Anyways, enough bitching. Let's play the game, shall we? Uh, we've got Siglinda Krausa. She's an overeater and is allergic to potatoes. Wah, wah. Nope, don't want you. Don't want you. Uh, I wouldn't take allergies on anybody that you take at the beginning of the game. That's just my uh, my advice to you is never take allergies at the beginning of the game unless you really, really, really want to challenge yourself. Love summer, hates winter. Yeah, it's fine. He's a forester. I guess it'll work out. These two seem okay to me. We'll get new villagers really, really soon after the beginning of the game anyway, so it's not really that huge of a concern. Uh, that they have all of the things that we need right here at the beginning. Plus, it just makes the game more interesting if everybody just has kind of like random skills at the beginning. All right, so here we are. Uh, we have started out reasonably far. Oh, we got berry bushes over here. Yeah, wild healing plants. Look at that. Look at that. Well, the goblins have pretty good dominion over this island in all honesty. They've got us pretty much cut off from the other side of the island. My suggestion would be is that maybe we build on the little peninsula over here, possibly. It might be a really, really good idea. Uh, where do we start out? We're like right there. Yeah, I would say that if we build like right over here, we'll be a little bit safer. Uh, your villagers have this weird tendency to like wander off in weird directions to go do things. And, and it tends to get them beat the hell up every now and again. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to give a wood chopping order over here. And we'll just kind of like get that started. There we go. Wood chopping order. All good and taken care of. And then we also wanted to kind of have like a gathering order maybe. Like for these plants over here possibly. Oh, do they not want to gather them? That's fine. If they don't want to gather them, I don't really care. But we do want to set up that wood chopping order for that side. And then what we'll want to do right here at the beginning of the game is we've got to start making houses for all of our people to live inside of. Uh, I would suggest that we just do it out of, like, shacks or whatever. Doesn't really matter. I'll do, like, a little 5x5 five five over here, I think. So we'll go, like, how many is that? Two, three, four, five. There we go. All right. And then we've got kind of a fiver right there. A little fiver right there. A little fiver right there. That looks pretty good to me couple little five by fives leave them with a lots of extra room because they're gonna want stuff added I'll kind of talk about that system as we get further on into the game but they're gonna want like things and their desires are gonna grow with time as you continue to like build and grow and get larger uh, they're gonna want more and more stuff inside of their house so it might seem like a really wise idea at the beginning of the game to go with little like three by threes that they all live inside of but I would suggest giving them a little bit of extra space when you start out that way you aren't constantly like bulldozing things as time goes along and you aren't constantly like resetting stuff up uh, in order to like get things where you want them to be. Uh, we'll just make like a little, we'll make like a little area over here that they live inside of. Our, our dudes are just going to sit over here for now. I'm going to give them the order to come and construct all this. Like come and build these things for the moment. And then yep. while they're doing that, we also want to set up their professional, their, their professional lineups here. Uh, my suggestion would be that we just take, and this guy has no skills whatsoever, so I would just enable him for, like, every job. And then this guy over here, we'll probably put him on farmer, we'll put him on forester, and then we'll kind of have everything else just sort of enabled up until we get new colonists that are going to come in and kind of replace and make it. So eventually, they will only do the thing that they are good at and nothing else. But... For now, everybody's going to have to multi-class a little bit and, like, do what they need to do. Apparently, he really wants to tell a risky joke to his friend. Uh, they want us to build a bonfire as well. We'll worry about the bonfire later. The bonfire, what that does is it attracts ships. 
And so we'll put the bonfire like right over here and what it'll do is it'll make new colonists come and then traders will come along as well. And we can sort of get like goodies from them if we need them. We don't right now, we don't really need it. So like, but if we did, we could get the goodies from them. But for now, we don't need the goodies. Uh, the goodies are fine for now. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that on in there. Apparently he decided that crystal harvesting was something that needed to happen right this moment, no matter what. Um, they're gonna break off and do jobs randomly. This is like the first patch where they've been fiddling with the jobs. Based on the priorities that you have out, sometimes they just break off and start doing other jobs. I don't know why they do it. Sometimes they do it. There we go. Uh, I would like for you to build that bed, please. The bed is gonna be the most pertinent thing for now. And then you also get that bed right there. Now construct this building, and like if somebody else doesn't have a bed, that's fine. It's not really that big of a deal. Uh, we can only store five crystals anyways, so I'm not gonna cancel him working on the crystals over there. And like, eh, we're gonna need the five crystals at some point to do our research and unlock new technology trees, so who cares. Uh, you come over here and construct that real fast so that you have a bed and then take ownership of it. This game has kind of a mechanic where everybody has expectations, sort of Sims style. So if you took like RimWorld and you mixed it with The Sims, you would have a pretty good cross section of what this game looks like. Uh, one of the core mechanics of the game is gonna be us fulfilling the wishes of the people that live inside of our territory. So for example, right now, Gustav, he really wants to reach relationship buddy with Ben. Like he wants to be friends with them. Aside from that, he also wants a bonfire to be built. And this is the amount of XP he's gonna get towards his satisfaction every single time we accomplish one of these desires. Why do you wanna fill this? Well, actually for a really, really good reason. Uh, the reason why you wanna fill this up right here is because every single time you get a level in satisfaction, you will unlock a new level of expectations and you will unlock new wishes. You'll get points. Those points will allow you to get rid of their negative traits add positive traits, get rid of their illnesses, instantly fill them, heal them back up to full health if they're in the middle of like a fight or they're severely wounded. Like lots of cool bonuses you get from working on the satisfaction uh, of all these people. So you go sleep for a little bit. There you go, get your stamina all nice and refilled. Benjamin's gonna come out and chop some trees, which is good because that's like one of the principal things we need to have done. So I'm just gonna wait until we've actually filled up on wood and then we'll get going with like our newest crafting allotments. You might be saying to yourself, Splat, are they kicking those trees until they fall down? Yes, everyone that lives, look at this mustache right here. Everyone that lives inside of our society, oh, they want me to build a food storage. Yeah, so food storage. If you don't build a food storage, nobody has anywhere that they can get anything to eat and they're gonna die of starvation. So like, I, I strongly suggest you make a food's baskets right there so that they can fill that back up. That'll fix their mood. They'll go back to chopping wood in just a second anyways. Uh, but we are going to need to get some farms up and running very, very shortly, too. That's going to be, like, incredibly important. Uh, what I'll do for now is let's put some floors in right here to make this house a little bit nicer. And then the final thing that I'd like to do is I'd like to make a workshop, actually. Uh, we don't really need to put down floors for the workshop. We can mostly just have it have, like, a dirt floor. But we can go something like... This right here, I think, should be large enough for us to fit all of our crafting benches. And then once they get that built, we'll put those inside of there. We'll start doing some research and things. I'm going to put a door right there, too, so that they know that it's dedicated as a room. Perfect. Uh, you guys just continue building and doing what it is that you need to do right now. As soon as that's finished off, what does it want me to build? Oh, it wants me to do the bonfire? Yeah, we'll do the bonfire eventually, but, like, the game is being very demanding about it right now. But I have other priorities that I would prefer to work on first. There are wandering herds and stuff. That wasn't a thing the last time I played the game. There's, like, little herds of sheep and stuff that are running around. I'm sort of wondering how that's going to all play out, too, as we get further on into the game. Gather my wood. Would you kindly? Thank you. Uh, we'll put the bonfire, like, over here just so that it's, like, out of the way. And then we'll need to start doing some research very, very shortly as well. Because there's technologies missing from our society that are going to make our lives a lot easier as time goes along. And much more, much less prone to hurting ourselves too. So, something else to think about along the way. Yes, I'm aware of how science works. Thank you. I am aware. I am super de duper de aware of how science works. My cat just left me. He was sitting on my lap and he was doing the kitty co-pilot thing for this episode. He could tell that I was feeling aggrieved due to Windows updates, so he came in here to calm me down because I was about to rage against the dying of the loud. I was about to rage against the system, man. It was lights out, gorilla radio time. Unfortunately, uh, 
Still gotta get the work done, even though my mood was otherwise soured. So here we are! Uh, let's go ahead and, I mean, we're patching up wood really, really well right now. I'm actually pretty happy with it. Uh, so we're gonna want to do work buildings down here, and we're gonna want to put in a... There we go. We're gonna want to put in a research bench. We also have these deep stone mines over here. I don't know exactly how they work, but that's a new building that you can build. Uh, but it requires a lot of resources. I assume it gives you, like, an infinite supply of whatever the resource is that you've been actively looking for, but... Couldn't honestly tell you. Listen, man. Go ahead and build the bonfire. I can tell it's going to make you a lot happier. There you go. Your bonfire has been filled. And now your vanity has been has been slaked. I've always liked that word. It's a good word. Slaked. Uh, we need to do farms now. Farms are going to be very, very important. Oh, we can't do farms until we do research. Right. So he's going to come over here and do this then. Perfect. That's done. And then we are going to pick a research. We are going to pick farming because starvation is actually a very real thing that can happen. And then we're going to tell him to analyze crystals until we know how to be... Listen, man. Oh, he's got to go eat. Okay, I was about to cut him off, but, like, it's fine. He can go eat food. All right, now go... Now, now, exactly. Now go do the research that needs to be done. Every single time this little rotary meter above his head makes a full cycle... Uh, it's going to add one crystal to the research, and you'll see we lost a crystal, but it put a crystal in right there. I, I don't know why staring at giant blue crystals makes us aware of how to grow tomatoes and turnips, but it does, okay? Let's just not question it. For plot relevance's sake, let's just not, let's just not question it. It's just the way that the world works in Founder's Fortune. It's just absolutely magic. Everything, everything's magic. Uh, I'm going to need to come greet this new guy over here that's joining us. Uh, we are going to accept this migrant right here. I don't know if he's good at anything. I don't even know if he's a nice guy. He could be a serial killer from the mainland, and we would never know. But the fact of the matter is, I need a larger workforce. Otherwise, we are never going to get anything done around here. And so I welcome him with open arms, despite any misgivings I might have about his previous employment or whatever. Peter Winkler. Peter Winkler apparently is useless at everything, just like everybody else that we have around here. That's fine. You'll fit right in, brother. You will fit right in. Guess what? You're a farmer now. I give you the permission to be a ultimate farmer. You are my farm god 5000. Uh, I need to build a new house for this guy. So let's go ahead and uh, slap that together real fast. Go ahead and throw that out like right there. Yep. Nope. That's a mistake right there. Didn't mean to do that. That was uh, un accidente, but you know what? Is that one too long? That is one too long right there. We can kill it. It's okay. We we brought it into this world. We can take it out. Perfect. Another little house. And then we'll throw a door in like right there. And then obviously we're going to need some kind of furniture. I don't think we have any cotton though, so we can't make this guy a bed. Uh, we've been hustling to do what we need to do. We just really haven't gotten anything. Where is the cotton at? Oh, there's cotton over there. Okay, so you don't gather crystals. Go gather some cotton. We're going to need some of that fluffy stuff if we want to make you a bed. So unless you enjoy sleeping on dirt, I would strongly suggest you get the cotton. Uh, we now have farming, which is super rad, makes our lives a lot easier, and makes us much less likely to starve. So we can come on over to here, and we will go to farming. And I would suggest what we do here is that we make soil for... Tomatoes. And not just some. A lot. You're going to need like a metric ass ton. Not an imperial ass ton, a metric. That's very, very important. If you're not familiar with that, consult the tables in the back of your notebook. Uh, we're going to need a lot of this food. Like, we're going to need a lot of it or we're not going to make it through winter, okay? Uh, let me warn you, this is a very food intensive game. If you think you have enough farms, double it. Just in case. Because I've been surprised numerous times playing this game with how easy it is to get wiped out by starvation. It is supremely easy. And then once summer gets here, we're going to put in some, or potatoes on this side. Uh, we can also have a campfire, which is pretty cool. The campfire will allow us to cook meals, uh, which will help out a little bit too. I think it makes the meals go a little bit further. But for the moment, it appears as though we're just sitting and resting. And looky there, we're having ourselves a big old farming session. That's good. Uh, I don't want to die. You know what? You ever wonder why these guys have different colored hats? Like, these guys have yellow hats, and that guy has a green hat. 
Is that just like an aesthetic choice? Do they pick that before they go out every single day? Or does it like denote their status in society? Like, I am a rank two civilian. Well, I am a rank... Th oh, dude, we already got a bug infestation. That feels bad. Mm -hmm. uh, this event happens way too much. It needs to have its frequency lowered, like, a lot. I've put some serious hours into this game, all right? And uh, I'll tell you one thing I've learned. Bug infestations happen way too often. Like, it happened almost instantly that time. Uh, my last playthrough, I think it was about three minutes after I sowed my farms that I got a bug infestation. It happens really, really fast. And while it is easy to deal with, um, it's still kind of annoying. It's like one of those little things that you're like, meh. Do I feel like dealing with this right now? Probably not. Probably not. I wouldn't mind if it happened like every now and again. But it seems to happen at least once per season for me. There you go. Get those things in. We're going to need the food. Trust me. When you're looking at me with a grumbly tummy in a month or so, trust me. Trust me. You're going to be like, man, I sure am Gat Splatter Cat went through and planted all these tomatoes. And I'll be like, yep, exactly. Did I not have foresight? Was I not the leader that you deserved? Was I not the leader that would guide you to victory? Okay, so I went and I made sure that they gathered a little bit more cotton. That way we can put in another a bed. Where am I at here? There we go. We need a little bit of a, a life addition right there to make things simpler. Hopefully they get the floors all nice and slapped in. These guys are some woodworkers. They work fast. Uh, who was it that didn't have a that didn't have a bed? Was it you? Get a bedroom. Well, there you go, man. I have fulfilled your wishes. This guy wants a wood table in his house, which actually isn't that hard to accomplish. Um, who was the guy that did my research last time? I'm trying to keep the research all on one person. It was you. Okay, Gustav. Apparently he's about to have a meltdown. Uh, I would like you to do the research for woodworking, please. So, if you could make that happen for me, Gus Gus, I'd appreciate it. You're going to be my researcher. So every time I assign research, you're going to be my go-to guy. You're going to be the champion that I require in order to elevate our usage of wood to the next level. It's officially the last day of spring, so we've survived our first season, if nothing else. Uh, these guys are... Oh, this guy had a mental breakdown. He's locked off for seven minutes. He's not going to be doing anything. He's just going to be sitting around. Feels bad. We are indeed running out of food. That is a very real problem. We got our first migrant really, really fast. And so we're going to need to like refill all of this before too long. Uh, my other suggestion would be that we need to be a little bit more efficient about the way that we use our colony. Uh, so what did he want? He just wants to tell a risky joke. And he wants to tell it to Gustav. All right, we'll go do it then, man. Like, only, oh, only you can control that. He wants to get to level three as a forester, huh? Oh, he's at level three, though. So, like, he's almost there. Like, he's getting closer. Okay. All right, so we've unlocked woodworking. That's going to give us more options. Yep. Now, some of these guys wanted other stuff, so he wants to be a buddy with Benjamin. Yep. Everybody wants to be friends with Benjamin, but Benjamin's like the worst, man. Like, what do you want to be friends with Benjamin for? Just saying. I'm trying to protect you guys. I'm trying to look out for all of y'all. Benjamin does not have your best intentions in mind, all right? Benjamin's going to do what Benjamin does, looking out for Benjamin. Now, we can get a wooden sword over there. We can get wooden show, we can do furniture, or we can do weaponry. I'm gonna do furniture, I guess. We'll start off with furniture. I need some stone, yep. though. So, like, if somebody wants to go out and do, like, some stone mining... Stockpile's full. Oh, we can't store any wood right now. Max of zero. Okay, so they've, like, created, like, a new... What kind of storage stuff did they add to the game? Oh, cool. So there's, like, wood stockpiles, stone stockpiles. Gotcha. Very, very interesting. That's actually a new addition as well. Okay, yeah, put a put a stone stockpile over there. We've got a cotton stockpile. Oh, nice. So I can actually make like a full, like a big building full of this stuff. Okay. I more than likely will. I'll probably make a big warehouse out here once I get these trees cleared. Uh, I think that's going to be like my, my principal job that I want to get done. Mm -hmm. Peter is so full of himself, I couldn't stand talking to him. Yeah, everybody wants to be friends with Benjamin, but it seems like he's pretty emotionally inaccessible right now. You guys both don't need to be working on that. You can only hold one more crystal. 
Mmm, inefficiency. Feels good. Feels good. Oh, he's gonna work on the research. Nice. Uh, Gus, you wanna build that for me, bud? Like, I don't really care if it holds a lot, but we are gonna need some stone at some point. Plus, the harvest just came in, so that's pretty rad. Yeah, you guys get in there. Make it happen, Captain. Make it happen, Captain. We could definitely, like, this is enough food to last us, like, almost another season. This is, like, 25 tomatoes right here. So that's really going to help us out. Uh, the next thing we need to do is I'm getting stone right now because I'm planning on going towards the campfire so that we can start cooking things. Uh, the other thing we want to do is we'll want to start setting up potatoes for the next season because it's going to be summer really, really soon. And so these will kind of take care of us there. There we go. Yep, give me some dirters. Let me get them dirters right here. We're getting we're getting dirty with the dirters right now. Probably add like three more rows. It does use up like an entire day when we're harvesting and when we're planting, but I don't really care that much. It doesn't seem that important to me. Yep. Why are you only working on scholarly things? Yep. Go harvest tomatoes, man. Knowledge doesn't matter if we're all going to starve to death. It sincerely doesn't. Like, we will get to writing and whatnot when we do. Let's see. It might be in your best interest to give us these things. Two illness medicine and... No, dude. I'm not paying nothing. You're going to regret this? Well, that sucks. What am I going to regret, though? I don't feel like I'm going to regret this that much. Like, what? You going to send one little dude after me? Are you sure that this is a Band-Aid that you want to rip off? Like, let me maybe just put this out here. That maybe... This is not the best plan that you and all the other goblins have ever hatched. Like, I don't know. May this might not work out so great for you. Like, there's only one of you, and like, yeah, you do have like a super rad hat that I'm crazy jealous of. But there's three of us, and I'm pretty sure we're going to stomp that domer out before you even get one of us. I'm going to suggest you kill this guy. Yup, put him down. Give him the stomp out. Let him have it. Murder was the case that they gave me. There you go. Uh, Taken care of. Yeah, I want you guys to, like, all be... Yeah, you guys are no longer going to be in combat mode. You guys are cool. Go back to doing what you're doing. Apparently, I put roofs on the houses. I don't know exactly how I did that. I hit R as muscle memory. Because, like... I think you guys should all harvest tomatoes. I might be a little biased. But I like eating. Like, I am a prolific eater. Like, I love having food and not dying of starvation. So anyways, I know you guys just committed murder. Somehow I'm doing really well today. Yeah, because you killed a man. You put your hand in cold water, brother, for the first time ever. You're feeling like on top of the world right now. You just, you just survived contact, bro. You just survived contact. That adrenaline high just... Sometimes you gotta lay down in the enemy and drink their blood. Okay, maybe that's a little too far. Maybe we don't drink blood around here. Yeah. Well, you know, test us, goblins. Test us. We might make it happen. Are you guys getting XP for this? They are. They're getting like little tiny bits of XP for this. Not a lot, but a little bit of something. This guy went over to gather stone, which is great because we're gonna need a bunch of stone like really, really soon. I am going to go to my campfire. Dude, we have so much food. I'm so happy right now. If we get all these crops done, like, yeah, buddy. Not enough stone. Oh, we need 20 stone for the campfire? Oh, my goodness gracious. That is a lot of stone for the campfire. All right, so I'm going to take this down by a level. Apparently, when you press R, it just takes you up to the next level like so. 
I figured that all I figured it out all by my lonesome because I'm good at games um, Let's go ahead and I'm gonna put in a woodworking bench over here If we can get some tools like some axes to chop trees with and some pickaxes to chop stones with it's gonna Massively 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 increase our efficiency as we play the game And it's gonna help us like escalate our gathering like to new heights And so that's what I really really want to do this guy wants to be a buddy with Benjamin He only needs like a little bit more before he'll get satisfied he wants to tell a risque joke. That level three forester is going to be a tough one. That's going to be the one that takes a long time. Because this dude, I'm willing to bet, is like nowhere near level three forester. Nice. So what kind of work orders can I put in here? Definitely make like some wooden axes. And definitely make a wooden pickaxe. And I'll decide like who the... I'm going to decide who the final word is, is in gathering... Once we get a little further on into the game, like basically we'll pick somebody to be our only wood chopper after this, and then we will pick somebody to be our only miner after this because these tools, they've actually got to equip them before they go out. They don't just like keep them on their person. And so you kind of want the, the tool to be assigned based on job. You guys over here gathering up all this stone. Nice. I do wish that, like, sometimes they would not work to, f like, so it's obvious the way that the game logic works right now is they will go and get stuff until they have a pressing need that needs to be fulfilled or until the stockpile is full. Like, it's weird. Like, they'll go out and they'll just only do stone mining until they have 40 stone or whatever. Um, I would like a little bit more control over how much goes into the stockpile. Let's see here. Warriors of the North, two crystal and a healing potion. I don't even think I have a healing potion. Nah, man. Oh, I do have a healing potion. Well, you're not getting my healing potion. I'm assuming the warriors of the north are actually, like, way up in the north, right? They've got to be way up in the north. Diplomacy is not going well with the goblins right now. I, I think we should all be really, really honest about this whole thing. Diplomacy is super not going well. Uh, we should probably do some kind of, like, do you think dead bodies are in storage? Ah, there is our grave. Uh, we're going to need to put in some graves around, too, just to get rid of some of the dead guys. I'll probably put them in the backfield over here. I'm not planning on really, like, going out this way. There you go. We'll make some graves over here. I may also make another food storage, just to make sure that we have a lot going into the winter. But I don't know. Like, how much food storage can I make? This basket can store ten food. Okay. Uh, yeah, we should probably get a few more of these then. Yeah, I'll throw one over there. They're gathering wood right now too, so... I mean, honestly, I think this game is really, really good. This is one of those sleeper games that's like a, a super solid colony builder. And yeah, the only problem is, like, the graphics are not super appealing. It's got, like, a little bit of an uncanny valley thing going on with a lot of the characters and whatnot. But, like, aside from the aesthetic, like, I think the game is really, really good. And, like, honestly, since I play a lot of roguelikes and a lot of, like, you know, Keeper RL and stuff like that anyways, like, graphics don't really matter altogether that much to me. Uh, but anyways, I, I think a lot of people see this game and, and they'll be like, eh, the aesthetic doesn't immediately grab them and make them, like, want to play it right this second. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, I actually think this is probably one of the up-and-coming colony games that's probably, like, it's barking up RimWorld's heels. Like, the developers seem to have a pretty good idea of what they're doing and where the game is going. And they've been implementing updates to the game at a, at a pretty solid clip. And it's all stuff that you expect. So, like, last time I played this game, I stopped playing because somebody broke their leg when they were outside the colony and they just fell over. And there was no way for me to pick them up and bring them back to town. There was no way for me to use a potion. And, like, the next patch, they addressed that. And they made it so now you can carry people back to their beds. Now you can feed people when they're laying in bed. Now you can treat people when they're laying in bed. And so, anyways, it's like, as the issues arise with the overall gameplay and as, like, players discover problems and sort of report them and make videos about them, the developers have been really, really good about patching those issues and fixing them all up, which is really all that you can ask for, you know, as the player of the game who has decided to 
back this early access title with your money. And so anyways, if you're looking out for colony builders, I do think this is one of the better ones. And I do think that this is like, if I had to pick like five colony builders to keep an eye on, this would definitely be in my top five uh, because it just keeps getting better. And so anyways, uh, I'll see y'all later. Thank you for being here. This is Founder's Fortune. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile that found what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so that you don't have to. I, I appreciate you hanging out with me here today. Um, I will see you all next time. If you want to see another episode, make sure you leave a like on the video. It helps me out tremendously as a content creator. Be very vocal in the comments, all that kind of stuff. Um, aside from that, I will see you all tomorrow. Uh, check out the Discord and the Twitch channel down below in the description. And that's all I got for you for right now. Goodbye, everyone.